Dear students, welcome to this video session. Through this session, we are analyzing some of the problems from your fifth module, Economic Load Dispatch. Before going to the problem, what do you mean by Economic Load Dispatch? What are the conditions of for this Economic Load Dispatch? In a simple way, Dispatch the load economically. How is it possible? It is possible through the optimum selection of power generating unit so as to minimize the total fuel cost while satisfying the load demand and the operating constraints. There are two types of economic load dispatch problem. Economic load dispatch neglecting transmission losses Economic load dispatch including transmission losses. We know that the total power generated PT total power is equal to PD the demand power. This is for the first case. Economic load dispatch neglecting transmission loss. By including the transmission loss the total power PT is equal to the demand plus the transmission losses. Let us see the problem. The fuel cost function for three thermal plant in rupees per hour are given by C1 is equal to 500 plus 5.3 P1 plus 0 0.004 P1 square. C2 is equal to 400 plus 5.5 P2 plus 0 0.006 P2 square. And C3 is equal to 200 plus 5.8 P3 plus 0 0.009 P3 square. Find power generated by each plant if the total demand is 800 megawatt. What are the given parameters? In the question, C1, C2 and C3 are the fuel cost function of first thermal plant, second thermal plant and the third thermal plant respectively. Another term is P1, P2 and P3. This is the power output of first plant, power output of second plant and the power output of third plant. A cost function depends on a constant P1 and the P1 square. Then one more term is the total demand is 800 megawatt. PD is equal to 800 megawatt. We know that in this problem, there is no term transmission losses. Hence, it comes under the first category, economic load dispatch, neglecting transmission loss. In that case, the total power is equal to the demand power. We know that the total power is here, there are three thermal plant. Therefore, the total power PT is equal to the power output from first plant plus the power output of second plant plus the power output from third plant which also is equal to the demand power is is equal to 800 megawatt we have to find out p1 p2 p3 and the system is under economic load operations The condition for economic load dispatch neglecting transmission loss is equal to the incremental fuel cost of each plant should be is equal to same which also is equal to lambda which is a Lagrangian multiplier.
This is the condition for economic load dispatch, neglecting transmission loss. Incremental fuel cost of first plant. F is the fuel cost. P1 is the power output. Derivative of fuel input to the power output. That is the incremental fuel cost. Incremental fuel cost. Incremental fuel cost of each plant. First plant is equal to the second plant etc. up to end the plant which also is equal to lambda. Lambda is a Lagrangian multiplier. It is a constant. But this is a condition for Economic load dispatch, neglecting transmission losses. Comes to a problem. Here, they are given the fuel cost function. It is denoted as C1, C2 and C3. We have to find out incremental fuel cost. DC1 by DP1. The notation is C1 instead of F1. The reason is in the question the fuel cost function is given as C1. Sometimes they may given F1. Whatever whatever be the given parameter take that notation. There is no problem for that. Usually the fuel cost notation is F1. If it is given as C1 take it as C1. DC1 by DP1 is equal to DC2 by DP2 is equal to DC3 by DP3 is equal to lambda. Here we have three thermal plant therefore we are stopping here DC1 by DP1 is equal to DC2 by DP2 is equal to DC3 by DP3. Then first find out DC1 by DP1. We know that C1 is equal to 500 plus 5.3 P1 plus 0 0.004 P1 square. What is DC1 by DP1? Derivative with respect to power output. 500 this is a constant. There is no P1 term. 0 is a p1 derivative of p1 is 1 therefore 5.3 plus p1 square 2 p1 therefore 0 0.004 into 2 p1 similarly dc2 by dp2 is equal to 5.5 plus 0 0.006 into 2 P2 DC3 by DP3 incremental fuel cost of third thermal plant 5.8 plus 0 0.009 into 2 P3 and we know that DC1 is equal to lambda. Equate. We are equating DC1 by DP1 is equal to lambda. That is 5.3 plus 0 0.008 P1 is equal to lambda. Similarly, incremental fuel cost DC2 by DP2 equate to lambda. 5.5 plus 0 0.012 P2 is equal to lambda. For the third problem, sorry, third unit 5.8 plus 0 0.018 P3 is equal to lambda. 
from here write p1 in terms of lambda lambda minus 5.8 whole divided by 0 0.008 here p2 is equal to lambda minus 5.5 the whole divided by 0 0.012 from here p3 is equal to lambda minus 5.8 the whole divided by 0 0.018 Then one more condition given in the problem as P1 plus P2 and P3 is equal to lambda. Substitute P1, P2 and P3 in terms of lambda. Instead of P1, lambda minus 5.3 all divided by 0 0.008 plus instead of P2, lambda minus 5.5 all divided by 0 0.012 plus lambda minus 5.8 the whole divided by 0 0.018 is equal to 800. Sorry, there is a mistake. Here P1 plus P2 plus P3 is equal to 800. So this equation contains only one variable find out the value of lambda what's the value of lambda is equal to 8.5 again by knowing the value of lambda we can easily find out p1 p2 and p3 what's p1 p1 is equal to lambda minus 5.3 all divided by 0 0.008 or 8.5 minus 5.3 all divided by 0 0.008 what's the value of p1 by calculating we will get the p1 value as 400 megawatt p2 is equal to 250 megawatt and p3 is equal to 150 megawatt this is the answer in another way if the thermal plant the first plant gives a power of 400 megawatt and the second plant 250 and the third thermal plant uh, 150 then we will get an economic load operation once again question the question the fuel cost is given and the total demand is also given we know that the demand is equal to 800 in another way P1 plus P2 plus P3 is equal to 800 megawatt. We have to find out P1, P2, P3. Apply economic load operating conditions here. That condition is incremental fuel cost of each plant is same. It's also is equal to lambda. Find the incremental fuel cost of the given cost function. C1, C2 and C3 are the given cost function. DC1 by DP1, DC2 by DP2 and DC3 by DP3. And equate the incremental fuel cost to lambda, Lagrangian multiplier. And write power output P1, P2 and P3 in terms of lambda. And we know that the total power is equal to 800 megawatt substitute p1 p2 and p3 value and we will from that find out lambda substitute this lambda in p1 p2 and p3 get the value as p1 p2 p3 
and if the system is operated in this manner, we will get an economic load operation. Thank you.